So I want to show you some stuff that arrived yesterday by the postman. Uh, it's by a company called Polar Pro. If you've seen Polar Pro, you know they make great stuff for photography, filters mainly, plus other bits and bobs. Um, so yesterday arrived in the post is what they call the Light Chaser Pro, which is basically designed for your iPhone. So this is a case for the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max and all the bits to go with it as well. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. Just want to run you through what I actually got. I got the filmmaking kit. Now the filmmaking kit gets this with it. So it comes with a case, specifically for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It comes with a grip, comes with a, a variable ND filter from three to five, which is about an eight or 32 in real terms. Comes with the mist uh, variable density filter. Again, a three to a five, which again is an eight to a 32, but with the mist, I'll explain about the mist in a bit. Uh, it comes with the Bluetooth shutter button and also they throw in a free circular polarizer for you as well. So that's what it basically comes with. Just gonna show you, first of all, Here's the iPhone case. Basically looks like any other case. We'll get it out of the box. Um, good, the cardboard looks like it's been recycled. Um, it's gonna get recycled again because it's gonna go straight into our recycling box. So throw that over there. There's the case. Pretty much looks like a normal iPhone case. Nice bit of felt inside with a bit of logo. Um, this bit on the front looks like the bezels are gonna protect the lens a lot more. In there as well, these two will take moment mounts the moment lenses, which is quite handy because you could put the uh, anamorphic lens on this. So that comes there. On the sides, you know, it's these little grooves. This is so the grip can uh, attach to it properly without slipping off. And then of course at the bottom, your um, bits for your charger and your mics. The only thing I found about this, I tried it on the phone earlier and I've got this new little uh, mic. I've had a load of problems with sound using the iPhone. The problem is the cases, a lot of the adapters don't fit quite into the cases. So this mic I've got won't fit in. So I've had to order a little adapter that's designed to go into cases and then you're gonna attach the stuff on it. Um, a lot of companies don't make the length of the lightning adapter long enough to go through cases, but we'll see how that works. If not, the mic's going back. So there's the case. What comes next is, this is the, this is the grip for the phone. So I'll take that out of this box. There we go, throw that into the ready for recycle. There we go. Basically, yeah, they used, I think it's the same kind of grip they used on the, for the, the 11 kit they did. So push in and it will release and then these extend as well. Basically what they do is they clip into these little bits here. Yeah, there we go. Oh! So, so it kind of clips into the little grooves on the side there. That's R for probably making a lot of noise in the background. So you can then grip it, bop, 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 away it goes. Now, with the grip, there comes a, a Bluetooth button. Now, let's get this open again. I, wanted, I thought, shall I open all the kit up and it's ready to go? But I thought you might like to see what the box is coming. You know, we all love a box. So there we go, we'll throw that over there. And uh, we'll throw that over there. Now, there's the Bluetooth button, pretty simple. Now, oh, I didn't bring my knife back with me. You know, with the little rubber bit here, you, know, you have to pull that back and there's an Allen key port just there. So that then screws onto the top like that, and then they go. I'm a bit miffed that the button's not a bit more around the front to there. So it's more, you know, you do have to reach around a little bit for it. It is reasonably comfortable, but I think if you have the, the grip a little bit further down the the, um, the case, it might be a bit funny to do it. If it. I think it'd be all right right at the end, but it would have been a bit better, a bit more, yeah, a bit more forward. I have problems with buttons on cameras. Uh, <laughs> long history of it. You know, the only button that's perfectly in the place is the 1DX, which I'm filming on now. That always seems to be about perfect button placement. And button placement is very important on cameras, believe me. So there's that. Right, here is the variable neutral density filter. Now this will control the light coming into your phone. It's a three to five stop, which is about an eight to a 32 I believe. Um, so open this bad boy up. Right, so it comes with a lens cloth, which is always handy. If you uh, saw my video from the other day, I, I need a lot more of these. Just a nice case, Polar Pro on the front of it. I think that's quite nice. Uh, there's two little grips on the side, just there and there. You kind of push that, it opens it up to your filter. And then this just then attaches 
straight to the case so you don't even have to touch the filter and then once it's out i'm just going to pop it out just for demonstration for you it's got a um it's already got a lens cap kind of on it covering over a rubber one so it moves off so that will then protect it so pretty much you wouldn't get a finger mark on this which is a really really good idea i think they've done something with their um their virtual density filters for you know slrs and stuff around the same reason there's not an excuse to get your fingers on it which is really good we'll put that back in so next we have the variable neutral density mist filter um, again three to five stops so an eight to a 32 um, comes again with one of these always handy i'm going to keep a lot of them in my pockets these days and again same sort of case pops open a bit like a, a makeup or a vanity mirror on the thing pretty simple and then also when you buy the kit polar pro very nice of them i've thrown a free circular polarizer in with it now me and circular polarizers don't go on very well um oh another one of those that's in the recycling bin um i always tend to end up with i don't know if you're the same half a blue sky and half a not blue sky I can never get it quite to polarize all right in positions now i'm not used to using filters when we work because editorially you're not meant to use them you have to um, put in the description if you've used a filter on the lens the only the only filter i tend to use quite a lot is a starburst filter and yes i know i know but it does work on occasion and i'll show you some examples down the line later on but like there circle polarizer we'll have a play with that as well when we get out and do some tests with this gear so there we go right let's put this all together so uh, iphone 12 pro max um there's arthur on the front as you can see the case it, it goes on really easily um sometimes you find i find a lot of cases there you tend to wrestle it to get it on this goes on quite easily and it does feel Quite good uh you can see here on the case this is a bit more sticky out it's basically flans up so the filters fit on it but what it does it covers all the, the lens elements which is really good um that's a bit dirty you have to use one of these cloths to clean it also in here i didn't realize until i saw something saw something um earlier on when i was looking but these take moment mounts i believe so if you've got a moment lens like the anamorphic or their wide angle or something like that these will clip into it so you can't use the you can't then use these if you're doing a little bit more artistic filmmaking that's an option to go down i'm surprised that more other people do this mount as well so you know check that out amazon will do something or go to the moment or power pro yourself there we go we've got that on we're going to do next we're going to get the grip on i'm not going to put the bluetooth button on it just yet because i've got to put it with alan key and this little rubber bit is pain in the ass to get up i need my, my little blade to get it and i've left it somewhere else we're just gonna put this on so little button attach it you find two of the holes on their top find the two holes on the bottom and it grips in there you go that's pretty much not going anywhere and that gives you that see that grip so you can control a little bit more when you're filming brilliant and what we'll do is we'll throw on the uh, neutral density filter as well the variable one you open it up like vanity case and on here you have hopefully i've got focus so you see on there you see the little slits it's larger at one end and ends thinner at the other the filters will click in there and drop down push down that holds me to place here we go Let's see if we can get it to do it so it's in push down and then you take off the case you've got the rut of the lens cap on it so we'll get that off and then we go we've got the whole oh do you know what i'm gonna and then what you can do is adjust i'm gonna wind there we go let's go now there's one thing about using these filters on the iphone now apple's own camera which is good as it is you haven't got much control on it you can control a few bits and bobs on it but you can't control your iso and your shutter speed to make full usage of these these guys and you have to use a third party app that's how it's all going to look when it's up and running like i say the bluetooth button will screw in up there no it won't it will screw in like that god i should really learn how to do stuff properly so that's what it'll end up looking like and then yeah you can shoot away buttons kind of in it's not in the kind of right place i don't know why polar pro have done this ideally it should have been here you see what i mean you're having to twist your finger around to get to it and also i'm a bit dubious about holding on the quick release there because it actually feels all right i think that's what it's probably designed for you know not designed for it's designed to undo it but it does fit your finger quite well yeah that button is just i'm not a piano player by any means but you, know, you check these out it's a bit of a stretch to get around i do think they missed a the trick by not putting it there probably reasons why they haven't done it what do i know i'm not a designer oh, I'm actually recording on that. so that's what it looks like the polar pro um light chaser kit uh this is the filmmaker edition so that will mean with the filmmaker edition it's the case the grip the bluetooth shutter button variable nd three to five a missed variable nd three to five and a circular polarizer and 
lots of members clocks, lots of bonus. That's it, we'll um, get out and test this bad boy at some point and then let you know what that's like. Right, I'm uh, going to go make dinner. I'm going to go and tell my puppy off while well, he's doing his barking in the background and I don't know if you can hear that. And yeah, thanks for joining us for this quick little demo. Like I say, we'll, uh, we'll get some proper tests of it over the next couple of days and come back and tell you what we think. Mm -hmm.